Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are into Africa, into the desert. Operation Compass 2 on Unity of Command 2. This is the Desert Rats DLC. January 3rd, 1941. With the envelopment of Bardia and the decimation of the Indian 10th Army, the veterans of the Indian 4th Division could be spared and sent to East Africa. Their place was taken by the untested Australian 6th Division. Even so, Italian resistance in Libya was so tepid and disorganized that Operation Compass quickly gained momentum again. Indeed, it seemed possible that the Italians could be kicked out of Libya and thus expelled from Africa entirely. Uh, we are going into the battle with the Western Desert Force right here under Richard Nugent O'Connor. This is a 15 turn scenario. We are going to get into it right now. Kind of curious what you guys are thinking about Unity of Command 2, if you played it all. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below on this, as well as any tips or advice you may have. Always open to that. We've had to take a quick pause in Operation Compass as your Indian units were sent to East Africa and replaced by the Australian 6th Division. With the swap complete, we are ready to unleash you once again. Happily, the Italian defenders are still dazed from their recent ordeals. You are ordered to drive from Bardia to Tobruk with all possible haste. Use your infantry to take the vital ports while allowing your armor to leapfrog ahead. Your goal is to drive the Italians out of Cyrenasi uh, entirely. This is the second time I've had to uh, play this scenario here. Um, not used to these huge wide open maps. The uh, the base game had a few maps that were this big, but I was just kind of carefully moving along and realized I got to get moving or I'm never going to make it over there and got to here on the very last turn. So, And we don't have a big force to, to work with. We've got some armor and we've got some infantry, but that's about it. We do get... We do get uh, reinforcements. Uh, can I give these guys the engineers? Nope. Give them the engineers, though. Um, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll give them the engineers. Uh, we don't have any prestige to spend, so... What we have right now is what we're going to get as we end the prep phase and begin turn number one. They are heavy into Brook, as to be expected, I guess. anything kind of don't really want to use my, my armor to attack these guys, but all two to one, too. Use a naval bombardment on him. Pretty much wiped him out, but I can't attack him across the escarpment except for him. Move you out. In the one to one, so it's the best we're gonna get for Bardia. Oh, shit. Okay, we took him out, but we lost that unit, so. We 
can't get into Bardia right now. I want to take the casualties on this guy. He is going to be starved out, so... Uh, let's get our armor up the road a bit. He moved into Bardia. start moving out. Let's check the supplies here. Uh, we can drop three supply depots forward. That will get, a, get supplies a little further forward. And we can drop this down to something that'll give us two more on the next turn. Anytime soon. Fortified. We've got till turn seven to take take to Brook over here. I want to push that far forward just yet, though. extra naval bombardment we could use. Um, I'm hold off on that for now.
Okay, that didn't really do too much. I have to call in the, actually call in this naval bombardment here. Uh, we got one this turn. Can't really attack with anyone else. I guess we can move him up. There we go. Okay, so we took Tobruk. Turn eight for Michelli. Turn ten for Derna. Benghazi over here is turn eleven. Turn ten for the other main objective over here at uh, Beta Farm. Unfortunately, that put him right out of supply, so... Take the casualty here. We did push back a little bit. Okay. Up in the Brook. Wipe him out. Take that back and leave them prisoners for whoever now. Now I'm going to start pushing. I want to get rid of this guy though. Doesn't look like they have anything off in this area. Well, now they do.
Oh, he got resupplied. That was a good thing. We could just take this guy out. really want to use a naval bombardment on him though I can't I guess we could just let them let them starve out. There we go. As long as they don't come up in and take that. I can't really move this guy out unless I, uh... Well, I can move him in. Oh, wiped him out. Nice. We can move up on Derna. There's got to be units up in there. There is. They're both out of supply. We bump up this by one. Yep. I'd probably drop this down next to nothing. We'll get that back on the next turn. Uh, turn 6, Derna is turn 10. Michelli over here is turn... Uh, turn 8. Let's move our... Oh, we can't. We already did it. All right. We do have units available, but unfortunately they can only be deployed down here, so we're gonna have to move our get some get the move on here. I have a feeling there's gotta be someone in here. Can't imagine why there wouldn't be. Alright. Start pushing. Our headquarters up. He's hanging out here. I used all my naval bombardments. That was 
good one. Uh, specialized 20, that's free. We get another truck. One to one. Damn it. Seriously? Was a dick thing to do, dude. Alright. We have to forego these uh, secondary objectives in order to take the primaries. We're not going to get Derna any, anyway. I don't think we're even going to get the, uh... I don't need to get Michelle. They're blocking my path, too. I just want to get by you. Problem is, if they come down here at all, it's gonna fuck with my supplies. Now let's continue on. Oh, they're counterattacking now. That's impressive. Now these guys are gonna be cut off. Now we can deploy our, uh... There we go. We're, uh, charging across the map. Almost at Beta Farm here. Guys are so out of fucking supply. There's not really much I can do about it. Unless I use my airdrop. Or capture that supply depot right there. Which is a possibility, I guess. Now they cut everybody off. So. These guys are screwed. 
I ain't got in here. Got in here. We can start moving in on that objective there. Oh, this guy's in some major trouble here. Maybe not. Really know where I can put a supply depot. Unless we come up and take what is the uh gotta take and hold Benghazi. Hmm. There is someone in there, so mess with me the whole time. Benghazi failed. So you go back. Can you make it over there? There we go. Two, nice. And we just drove him right out. Wait, is that me? No, that's it can't be me. That's enemy. Alright. A little confused there. Wish there was something we could do for this guy. thing we can do for this day unless we drop uh drop some supplies on them Took the two main objectives and one of the secondaries. Not sure if it's going to let me uh, play out the rest of the scenario or just end. Uh, you're victorious. All primary objectives have been completed. There are no more bonus objectives left. You can complete the scenario now. Um, all right. Well, before these guys die over here... I guess we could play one more turn and... No, I'm not going to do that. So we got 93. 15 prisoners, plus 10 on the supply. Thanks. So that was Compass Part 2. Uh, Roads to Karen is next, and then Canvas. Let's see which one came first, January 24th and January 19th, so... Uh, we're going to be, <coughs> excuse me, doing Roads to Karen next. 
The Italian units had their advance in the Sudan in the summer, now sat exposed in their position near Kassala. I don't think we have anything left. So Compass 2 is down here. East Africa. Now we're into East Africa. Alright, I can do that. Anyway, that's going to do it for episode number 3. Operation Compass Part 2. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section. If you'd like to follow along as we progress through the Desert Rats DLC, hit the subscribe and you can come along with us. And we will see you for Operation number f or uh, episode number 4, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.